everyone, this is Estela with one more Brazilian recipe for you. Today we are going to make a bolo de milho cremoso, creamy corn cake. It is great for an afternoon with coffee or even breakfast. Here are the ingredients you are going to need for this recipe. Three eggs, one can of corn with the water that comes with the corn and you need to blend in the blender. One quarter cup of oil. One can of condensed milk. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. One cup of a fine corn flour. In Brazil it is called fubá de milho. You can find it in the Brazilian store or in your normal normal grocery store that's how it looks like the package you are going to need a hundred grams of coconut shredded coconut you can find it in the Brazilian store or in your uh, grocery store and you can see it is very fine and one tablespoon of a baking powder also, you are going to need a bundled pan sprayed with a cooking spray with flour like pan. And now we are going to start the recipe. First we are going to, to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we are going to start with the eggs. We are going to put the eggs in the blender. And we are going to blend for five minutes. The mixer has been mixing the eggs for five minutes. Now we are going to add the corn. Also, we are going to add the oil. And the condensed milk. The condensed milk is very thick, so take a little while to take it out from the can. You need to help from a spatula or a spoon whatever you like. So just keep going until it is all, all out of the can. And then we are going to blend until all the ingredients that, the wet ingredients are blended together. And then we are going to start to add the flowers. So just let's finish here with the condensed milk. I think that's all set. And let's blend again. Now that the wet ingredients have been uh, mixing for a while, I'm going to start to add the flowers. First, the uh, opal proposed flower. It is there. And now the flower, the corn flower. And the coconut. There we go. This part is very loose, so you can put it everything and be fine. You don't have to wait too much. But before I add the baking powder, I am going to stop the mixer and clean it up around a little bit. Just everything is well blended. There we go. Almost done. There we go. I'm going to blend just a little bit more so I can add the baking powder. 
Okay, now everything is well mixed. We are going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. Just a second. And with that, our batter will be done. Now our batter is done and we are going to put in the pan and bake it. Hi everyone, now our batter is done and we are going to put it in the pan so we can bake it. I want you to see the batter. See, it's a very loose batter. So we are going to put it in the pan and we are going to bake for 40 minutes or until the toothpick clean, uh, comes out clean, okay? So let's put the batter in. Take all the last bit from the, the bowl. I'm going to show you on the pan before bake it. And after bake, I'm going to show back to you, okay? Hi everyone. This is the cake after done. I want you to see it after bake it, how it looks nice. And here's the toothpick I used it for. As you can see, it's clean, so it's ready. And if you like this recipe, you can look for my blog in the description. See you next time and ciao!